I've asked members of the North Fulton delegation to join me up here to honor um, some very special Georgians. You know, we get caught up in this world here in the capital in thinking that we deal with some big issues. Well, I'm going to introduce you to a couple in a moment who is really dealing with some big issues and dealing with them in a big way. Last October 15th, John and Susie Troutwine lost their 15-year-old son, Will, uh, who took his own life. He was 15 years old. Out of uh, that tragedy that is unthinkable to me, they have dedicated themselves to um, fighting a problem and a tragedy that is becoming all too frequent and is hitting every community in Georgia, and that is teenage suicide. Uh, they have established an organization known as Will to Live, uh, and they have dedicated their lives to uh, providing education and resources to c combating and, and, and encouraging all of us to look at the causes of this uh, tremendous tragedy. So the story is a story of tragedy, but it's a story of hope, hope springing from unthinkable adversity. Before we recognize the members of the Troutwine family, I'm going to ask them to, uh, uh, for y'all to join me in a short video that we're going to uh, watch. Only on CBS Atlanta, suicide steals too many of our teenagers. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control here in Atlanta reports it's the third leading cause of death of people ages 15 to 24. Third. That's behind accidents and homicide. So how do we stop it? Can we stop it? I talked to one brave family who believes where there's a will, there's a way. Will. It means wish or desire, often combined with determination. In our little hometown, this can't be that was Will Troutwine, his wish and desire to be a musician, his determination to make his lacrosse team more about team, less about him. He was loved, he was well taken care of, he was popular. So why did he kill himself while his loving family slept? If suicide can happen um, in our home and can happen to a, a, a young man like Will, then in, in theory it can happen everywhere. The October evening Will took his life was like any other at the Troutwine home. He had a great night, he was preparing for his tests the next day, we, you know, it was just a good, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Normal, he seemed good when we left him and um, you know, we went to wake him. Why this happened will probably never be answered. How? Hopefully. As in, how do we keep this from happening to another young person? Number 13 was uh, his number. He loved the number 13. Hearing... Will's parents and his friends at Northview High hope the Will to Live Foundation can help. And, uh... It has helped ease their pain. So you think it's never going to go away. And then when I start talking about the foundation, when I start talking about some of the things that we're trying to do for the kids and with the kids and through the kids, the pain starts to go away and that energy starts to become positive. The foundation teaches. It offers fellowship to kids. It gives teenagers a place to talk about how tough life can be and how you can't give up on it. What happened to Will and what Will was going through um, is very, very common, and yeah. that is a scary thought. Will used to do something every day before class with his buddies. It was something his parents learned about only after his death. An affirmation this new foundation now promotes for all young people. And when the bell rang, they got together, and they put their hands in, and they'd say, love you, man. And we never knew that. And we used to try to promote that, you know, um, you know love each other and love enough to give each other a will to live. When I found out about the Trout Wines and the Will to Live Foundation a few weeks ago, it made quite an impression on me, and I wanted to share it with this house and um, let you all know that there are Georgians out there that uh, uh, triumph through tragedy. 
help me welcome two great Georgians, and I want them to introduce their family, John and Susie Troutwine. Thank you. Let me introduce the kids. Is it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. It is truly an honor to be here and Speaker Ralston. Thank you so much for your kindness that you're showing our family, which I'll quickly introduce now. My lovely wife, Susie. My beautiful daughter, Holland Grace. My son, Michael Jack. And my son, Tommy John. This foundation was started the day that Will died. And the foundation has brought us such hope because its motto of working for the kids and through the kids and by the kids is a good one and we truly believe in it and we know that our son Will would truly believe in it and he would be up here leading this foundation had the circumstances been different but they're not so we are here and we are encouraged because we know that this would make Will proud. And my wife and I feel a hand on our back every day. Maybe there's two hands. One is the hand of God and the other is the hand of Will saying, do this mom, do this dad, this is a good thing. And to live in a state where the government of that state is now adding their hand to our back, saying, do this, John, do this, Susie. This is a good thing, is truly encouraging to us and very, very motivating to us and gives us the strength to keep doing it. The foundation is for the kids. And we will continue to work with you guys and gals to spread this message that teen suicide is an epidemic and it's here. And since we've been in this room this morning, someone in America has taken their life. But at the same time, we know that working with the kids and through the kids and for the kids and spreading this message, we are creating or enabling the kids to create this bond of friendship. We call it life teammates. And in this bond, they are telling each other that they love each other. And they are telling each other that they are there for each other. And they're offering each other love. They're offering each other hope. And most importantly, they're offering each other and providing each other with this will to live. Again, Speaker Ralston, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.